guys. I'm here to do a quick little changing video with Ava. I'm trying to get all the babies into some warmer clothes because it's so cold in here. <laughs> so I'm just going to take this romper off of her. And the kerchief thing on the bobby. <laughs> Not sure what you call it. <sighs> there we go. Yeah, so Margaret was sick or is sick this week with a bad cold. She was really bad when I got there Tuesday morning. Um, and, um, just was constantly coughing all morning, was grumpy. She didn't want her mom and dad to leave, obviously, because she was sick. Um, just in a not so good mood and didn't really feel like doing anything. She just wanted to lay down and so, you know, her mom said it was okay if she laid down and watched some TV. So that's pretty much what we did. I mean, we did a couple of art activities and we read some books. But other than that, it was watching TV. Um, and she was just laying on the couch, um, not feeling good. So, I mean, they did not give me a heads up <laughs> before I got there about this. I kind of, you know... I'm still at a point where I'm not really sure how to handle things like that because in realistically um, I should not be around sick people um, that's just the way it is like if I know someone is gonna be at a gathering that has a cold or something I won't go um, because I'm on immune suppressant drugs my immune system is compromised and you know thankfully so far I've been lucky I haven't really you know been in, in a state where I'm catching every single thing that goes around and even that last cold I had I got over it fairly quickly um, which was good and oh I forgot to change her diaper um, yeah, so, I mean, I got, I got over that fairly quick, and that was great. Um, but the fact of the matter is that when you have a compromised immune system, you have to be very, very careful not to catch a cold or a flu because it can quickly turn into something else. You know, it, it can quickly escalate and you could end up in the hospital with an infection um, because your body can't fight it off. So it's, I'm at this point, I just, I don't know how to, what to, how to handle that because, you know, like after I showed up, her mom was like, oh, I'm sorry to, to leave her with you like this. Um, you know, I hope it's okay. And it's like, well, what was I going to say? I mean, I just traveled over an hour to get there. I don't exactly want to leave. I don't exactly want to miss a day of pay either. But really, realistically, it wasn't okay. Um, because <laughs> really, I was putting myself at risk. Um, <laughs> So I basically um, was washing my hands all morning long <laughs> um, and basically just trying to keep my distance from her and I did, I taught her how to cough into her arm um, which she seems to have picked up really quickly and she was doing it all day today. So. Um, so that's good. And, uh, so she did learn that, um, 
But yeah, it was just really bad yesterday, which was Tuesday. She just would not stop coughing and I just didn't want to get coughed on. So I kept my distance as best as I could. I mean, I also needed to provide comfort to her since she wasn't feeling well, but I also wanted to protect myself. So, um, yeah, so we just, I just let her lay on the couch and watch TV and she was kind of, um, snuggled up to me, but at least wasn't facing me. So, you know, I wasn't getting anything coughed in my face. <laughs> um, and you know, as soon as I got up, I washed my hands, like I was washing my hands like crazy. And I also had hand sanitizer in my pocket in case I couldn't get up to wash my hands. Like I was just going a little bit crazy with the hand washing, but it's better safe than sorry, right? <laughs> So, um, yeah, so then, um, got through that and she didn't eat much at lunch because she just, she kept coughing, which made it hard to eat and she wasn't feeling good and let her watch the iPad while she was eating lunch and then just put her down for her nap. And she was like, so tired, like she could barely keep her eyes open. She actually started to fall asleep while we were reading the, uh, a story. These pants are long, even on her. Wow. I thought I put these on the babies before and I didn't think they were this long. I knew they were kind of snug in the waist, but wow, these are really long. They're baby gap up to three months. Um, and the onesie is from our Auntie Yvonne, one of the many wonderful gifts that she gave us when we were in Denver. I'll show you guys in a minute. Um, but yeah, so, um, so that was that. So I was relieved once I put her to bed, I was like, okay. And you know, I texted her mom to let her know how she was doing. And her mom was like, well, are, can you like, is it okay for you to stay until I get home? And I'm like, well, that's no problem because now I'm not in contact with her. She's sleeping, you know? Um, but anyways, I did go again today, but she was a lot better today. She, um, she was still coughing, but not nearly as much. And she was in better spirits and she had more energy. So we had a fun, we didn't get to go to music class because she still didn't sound well enough that, like, I don't think they would have accepted her into music class. So we stayed home. Um, it was a dreary, rainy morning. And so we stayed home and we did lots of, uh, fun activities. We did um, some stamping with Halloween stamps. We sorted out these plastic skeletons that I have that are all different colors. So there's purple, orange, green, and white. So we sorted those into color, like by color. Um, we sang some songs. We read some Halloween books. Um, I did another, I did our harvest uh, fall sensory bin with the acorns and the leaves and the pumpkins and gourds um, and corn husks and things like that. And then also the mixture of rice and popcorn kernels um, and lentils. And she really likes scooping up that and putting it in the cups and stuff like that. So we had a good morning. And again, I still made sure to be diligent about washing my hands a lot and just not getting too, too close. <laughs> but um, she definitely sounded a lot better. Um, she had a little meltdown <laughs> at lunch because she wanted to watch the iPad. And, you know, iPad is not something we usually watch during lunch. It's usually only at breakfast time that it's allowed. Um, but I guess because yesterday she watched TV like all day, she was like, but Margaret's sick. <laughs> So she was trying to milk <laughs> being sick to get more TV time, but we were like, no, you're doing a lot better today, so you don't need it. So she had a little bit of a meltdown at lunchtime, but other than that, it was a good day. So anyways, here's Miss Ava. I just need to give her hair a little bit of a brushing here. I don't even, I don't even know if I need water, actually. Not looking too bad. 
Oh yes, anyways, I got another update from the Rooter today for Grace. She's coming along nicely. Um, Bonnie said she has had to root her a little bit thicker than she usually roots to make sure that it was staying in the big, like the previous holes that were made in her head because of how big they were. Um, so she had to root her hair a little bit thicker um, but she, so she thinks that it'll be a few more days before she finishes her. Um, but, uh, yeah, a few more days and she should be done. So I don't know if she'll be here in time for Halloween. I really don't know. Um, she might just miss, miss it this year, but, um, anyways, here's Ava. So it says, Daddy did my hair today. Can you tell? Oh, I guess we should have her hair kind of messy then. Because <laughs> it's supposed to be like, Daddy did the hair and he doesn't know how to do it. <laughs> Anyways. Um, yeah, so um, I'm liking the way it's like, well, of course, she hasn't cut the hair yet. So it's like, suddenly Grace has this long hair, like way past her bum. <laughs> it's really, really long hair. Um, but of course she's going to cut it, um, to the length that it was. Cause I didn't, I don't want too drastic a change. I want her to have the same length hair and stuff. Um, I hope when she says she had to root it thicker than she usually does. I really hope it won't be too thick though. Cause I, you know, like I know I said I wanted more hair added because I didn't like how thin it was. But I also don't want it overly thick. Like I kind of want that nice in between, like where it's, it's, uh, how do I put it? It's not thin to the point where you can see the scalp and you can kind of see some bald patches when you tie it up. But I also don't want it to be super, super thick. Like it's like hair of like a six year old or something. You know what I mean? So I'm kind of a little bit nervous about that part. I don't want it to be too thick. Um, yeah, I don't want it overly thick. Um, but I definitely found the way it was before was too way too thin. So I don't know. I just hope that it all works out and it looks good <laughs> like it looks good in the pictures um and I'm definitely loving the color but I just don't want it overly thick and I know that she can't really help it if she has no choice because of how big the previous holes are that she might have to root it more like root it thicker um so that it stays I guess but yeah I think she was saying like so that it stays when she starts gluing it in because I guess Sometimes when you when you glue, sometimes you can pull some hair out, I guess. But yeah, so I don't know. We'll we'll have to see. But I think it'll be okay, and I'm looking forward to seeing it finished. But anyways, there she is. Let me guys bring you closer. There she is. Hello, aunties. It's a purple shirt that look well. It looks like a purple short sleeve shirt with a pink long sleeve shirt underneath, but it's all one piece. And it's got a little monkey. It says, Daddy did my hair today. Can you tell? <laughs> oh, hello. I was waiting. I was waiting to see when you were gonna come by. Yes. Yes, well, let's see. Where are you? There you go. <laughs> so when I came home today, I gave Riley lots of attention. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. And we cut your claws. Yay! And you were a very good boy. Yeah, you're getting a lot better with getting your claws cut. Aren't you? Because he knows he gets the T word after. <laughs> yeah. And you did. You got some after that, didn't you? Because you were a good boy. Yeah, I know. Now you have now I don't have to worry about 
your nails digging into me. Huh? <laughs> See, Riley, we got him from, like I said, we got him from the shelter. And um, I guess his previous owners declawed him, um, his front paws. So he doesn't have any claws on his front paws, but he does have back claws and they can get quite long. And when he jumps up on you, sometimes they can be quite sharp. Hey, eh? you've stepped on daddy's toes before and he's been like, whoa. So we try to cut his claws once a month, but sometimes I go a bit longer than that. Eh? But they were getting super long, so we got it done and you were a good boy. Yeah. And now you're going to need my blanket. Hmm? Yeah, he loves my Tide Fleece blanket. Don't you? It's that time of year that I've pulled it out because it's getting cold. It's getting so cold. Mwah. Yeah. All right. Well, that's it for this video, guys. Ava's all ready for fall now. Who else needs to be changed? I think that's everybody. I should probably change Chloe because she's still in her um, lupus awareness sleeper. <laughs> from May. <laughs> so I guess I should probably change Chloe, but I think everyone else is, is done. Oh, Haley, uh, not Haley, uh, Veda. <laughs> My real care two baby is also in summer clothes still. Okay. We have two more, two more. And then when Grace gets back, she'll get her new fall outfit and then we'll, we'll be all set. But also Starting next week, I gotta start getting babies ready for Halloween because we've gotta do our Halloween special. Don't we, Riley? All right, guys. Well, I am going to sign off on this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Can you say bye to everybody? Okay. <laughs> You're looking more at me than the camera though. Here, let's get you to look at the camera. Okay, say bye everybody. We'll see you next time. You say bye? Okay. Riley says goodbye. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Do a little video with a haul. Um, this is all an online haul. Um, so the first thing is something that I got from Dollfan. Um... If you guys haven't checked out Dolphin, I really recommend it. Um, you do have to pay um, a monthly or annual fee to be a member, but it's a very small amount of money and it's really well worth it because 